You guys know how much I love this Bioionic Long Curling Barrel. I mean, I use it all the time. I have all three sizes, the 1 inch, 1.25, and the 1.5 inch. And now, T3 Micro just came out with basically their version of this. So this is the T3 Micro Single Pass Curl X. And I have the size 1.25. So we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison. Bioionic on one side and the T3 on the other side. Same type of curling iron, the same size. I mean, these two are so similar. So I'm very excited to see if we can notice a difference with these two hair tools. This is completely new and it just came out. So they also have a 1 inch, the 1.25 and the 1.5 inch. Very excited to be comparing these two. Let's get right into the video. So what's cool about both of these hair tools is that that they're also the same exact price like they're both $150 they're both dual voltage I mean they're just so similar the bio ionic has six heat settings the t3 micro has nine heat settings so already that is something that makes them a little bit different they both have the auto shut off after like an hour if you leave this on it is going to automatically turn off and I also like that they're both dual voltage so you can take these with you anywhere as long as you have an adapter you know I've used both T3 micro and bioionic hair tools that are dual voltage in Spain and they work so well they don't turn off on me they don't get ruins or anything they really are dual voltage but I can tell you that bioionic and T3 micro hair tools definitely when they say it's dual voltage they definitely are dual voltage these are the two hair tools bioionic T3 micro they're both about the same size as well as you can see they're both very long you get very long clamps you can grab so much hair with these long clamps they come in handy i think the only thing that makes them a little bit more different are like the heat settings let's see what type of curls we can get this one does have like this sarah gloss barrel which is supposed to give you more shine and make everything glide a lot better so i'm going to turn both of them on and i'm going to use them in the heat setting 360 ish and what i like about at least the bio ionic is that i'm able to do my hair like all my hair in literally like 15 minutes which is is so fast for me very very excited to try the t3 as well i should get pretty quick results because of the big barrel this is day three hair by the way so i will say the bioionic did warm up a little bit quicker than the t3 the t3 is still warming up as you can see so the bioionic does warm up a little bit faster than the t3 we're gonna give it a couple of minutes we're gonna start with the bioionic i'm gonna do a very small section i'm gonna do that section first what i like to do is that i like to put the clamp in the front just like that and curl away from my face this is actually a very small section compared to the huge sections that i'm able to grab with this hair tool and i love this size it gives you a curl kind of like in the middle like the perfect curl in my opinion this also has a cool tip just like the t3 so there you have it that's the bioionic curl as you can see it gives you a curl it's not super tight it's a little bit looser, but it looks very natural. I just really love this size. I always like the 1.25 inch curl. Let's do the T3 now. The T3 is all warmed up and ready to go. It didn't take too long. Again, I'm going to put the clamp in the front and... Let's see how this feels. It feels almost the same, but I can see how this does glide just a little bit better than the Bioionic. Like it does glide through your hair a little bit smoother, but the Bioionic feels fine too. It doesn't pull my hair or anything. Let's see if this is going to give me more shine than the Bioionic. And I think we're going to notice a bigger difference once I do all my hair. So, okay wow for some reason this one looks a little bit more tight the curl but i feel like i did the same amount of time for both of them let me double check the heat setting because i have a feeling that the heat setting that i'm using in the t3 micro is a little tiny bit higher than the bio ionic okay so i knew i did something a little bit different with the t3 the t3 i'm actually using in the seventh heat setting which is 390 degrees fahrenheit so i'm going to put the bio ionic up to 390 so that they can be in the same heat setting and we're going to do another curl just to kind of see what they look like side by side but still in a lower heat setting you do get a very beautiful curl with the bio ionic but as you can see with the t3 at 390 degrees fahrenheit you do get a tighter curl so let's do another curl with the bio ionic but we're going to do it in 390 degrees fahrenheit so it is all warmed up ready to go this warms up so quickly and let's see
I love using a clamp whenever I curl my hair because I have so much more control than a wand and I don't gotta be lifting my arms or anything. I get so tired after a while. Let's see what curl we can get. Beautiful. Yeah, that looks definitely more like this curl. 390, 390. Yeah, super nice. I feel like this one still looks a little bit more bouncy though. Okay, let's do another T3 section. Let's see how this looks. So now that they're both in 390 degrees Fahrenheit, let's see how the curls look that's something that i do like more about the bioionic that you get the numbers right here like it's very easy to know what heat you're using on your hair as compared to the t3 you only have these lights i really wish that they had the numbers right next to them as well it'll just make everything easier than having to like go and look it up and stuff i'm gonna leave it there for a little bit and let's release the curl wow i mean that is beautiful it actually looks super soft as well it's very very nice and the shine i feel like i do have a little bit more of shine on the t3 side this is gonna be so hard <laughs> they both look so nice but i do notice a little bit more of shine on the t3 i mean what do you guys think i'm gonna keep doing my hair and we'll see at the end which side looks better but so far they both look so nice these two hair tools are literally so similar and they're both so nice and i love bioionic and t3 micro hair tools because they really last such a long time the quality of these hair tools are next level and i feel like the price is reasonable like it's not like super super expensive especially if it's a hair tool that you're gonna use a lot if you get this one hair tool that's probably all you need if you're gonna curl your hair like if you are into like creating some waves and curls to your hair you're probably just fine with like one of these hair tools this is kind of like a hair tool that you would use a lot and the price is not that bad let me do this little one right here i always get so scared when i get close to my face but just be very careful okay all right i'm gonna keep doing the bioionic side like this section and then i'll do the t3 section i'm not gonna set my curls today or anything but if you wanted to do that as you go that will give you very nice longer lasting bouncy curls i love using these clips to set my curls every time i curl my hair but i'm not gonna do that today but if i were to go out and i wanted my curls to like last all night then i would probably be setting my curls and adding some hairspray or something so let's see what this curl looks like very pretty super cute i do feel like the bio ionic is giving me more of a wave and then the t3 is giving me more of a curl i mean look at that it looks more like a curl like a bouncy curl this is still very nice but it's giving me more of a wave so yeah very interested to see how it's gonna look at the end and i'm taking regular sized sections like maybe like one inch sections but if you wanted to take bigger sections with both of these hair tools you can definitely do that and get more of a loose curl so whenever i'm like in a rush and i want to curl my hair very quickly i'll take huge sections with the bio ionic and it will curl my hair in like 10 to 15 minutes depending on how much hair i take per section but yeah it's definitely a hair tool that you can use if you're like a little bit in a rush and you want to just curl your hair very quickly definitely recommend grabbing this one it's so good here's another one so pretty so so far this is what the bottom section for the bio ionic side looks like super pretty really like the curls but we're gonna keep doing the t3 side now the bottom sections back here yeah this feels also super gentle it's not pulling my hair at all it feels very very nice let's see wow I mean, look at that. That is so cute. It's so bouncy and it's so shiny. I'm shocked. Okay, let's do this one. All right, let's wait for a little bit. Release the curl. Wow. Like, wow. Very, very nice. <laughs> Gotta be careful with my face. I don't wanna burn my face again like I did not too long ago <laughs> with the curling wands i like curling irons a little bit more at least this part is cool which is nice beautiful i just love the curls that i'm getting on this side like okay so far this is the t3 side the bottom section and this is the bioionic bottom section so i'm gonna do the rest of my hair and i'll be back with the final look and my thoughts but yeah so far they're both so good <laughs>
I'm doing a thumbnail and I'm noticing something interesting. They're both about the same weight, but the clamp on the Bioionic feels a little tiny bit harder than this one. This one's like lighter and easier to open. This one, you kind of have to push it a little bit more. But anyways, this is the final look. What do you guys think? This is the T3 side. So pretty, so shiny, super bouncy. And then this is the Bioionic side. Also so nice. I still have a ton of shine. I don't know. I don't notice a huge difference with the curls. Do you guys notice a difference? Because they're both so similar. I'm going to do a wear test. I will be back at the end of the night. And let's see what my curls look like. Right now, it is... 2 30 so i'll be back at night and i'm probably gonna like loosen up the curls a little bit with a brush and maybe add some texture spray but yeah i'll be back at the end of the night and let's see what my hair looks like it is very rainy and yucky today outside so we'll see anyways i'll be back at the end of the night okay guys it is 10 07 as you can see it is the end of the day it was a very long day it was raining i did a couple of different hairstyles as you can see i feel like it probably wasn't the best way to do a word test so i apologize about that because i feel like if i were to clip each curl add a hair spray let them set for at least 30 minutes my hair will look different right now but overall this is the t3 side this is the bioionic side i have no curls left right now like it just looks a little wavy it doesn't look terrible it looks like very like natural like waves i guess but there's no curls so yeah but overall i did really like these hair tools and i feel like they're both so so good i have been using the bioionic for years now and i really really like it and i love t3 micro hair tools the quality is amazing i really like the cera gloss feature because it glides through my hair a lot better and also gives me a lot of shine so yeah either one that you get i think is a really good deal but either way i really hope that this video was helpful and let me know in the comments down below what type of video you would like to see next or if you want me to compare any of these hair tools to any other hair tools that i have but yeah guys that is it for this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video